Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, Real World One-Step Equations. When we solve word problems, we're going to use something called the BEST method, where we box keywords and numbers, eliminate unnecessary information, strategize and solve, and total and restate. It's important to remember with equations that unknown values are variables, and you can use any letter for a variable. The most common are X and N. Here we have a situation. Avery is four years older than her brother Jason. Charlotte is five years older than Avery. If Avery is 12 years old, how old is Jason? We'll start using the B in our best method, which is to box. So we'll box the information that Avery is four years older, Avery is 12, and we want to know how old Jason is. We do have some unnecessary information in this problem that we are going to eliminate. So it says Charlotte is five years older than Avery, but since I don't need to know how old Charlotte is, and I already know that Avery's relationship between Jason's age, I can go ahead and cross out that second statement. So I'm just gonna cross through Charlotte is five years older than Avery. Now I'm ready to start solving and strategizing. So I'm gonna start solving by listing what the variable is here. I'm gonna use J for Jason's age. That's what I'm trying to find out, how old Jason is. I could use N or X here as well. Then I'm going to write my equation. So Jason's age plus four years is Avery's age because I know that Avery is four years older than Jason. So I could rewrite that, translate this into an algebraic expression to say j plus four equals 12. And now I'm ready to solve. So if I subtract four from both sides, I end up with j equals eight. I'm gonna list that in my total. So what I'm trying to express is j, Jason's age is eight. So then I'm gonna restate that. Jason is eight years old. And that's my total and restate for my problem. I'm done with this word problem and ready to move on to the next one. In this problem, Riley is planning a party. There are 60 people attending, including Riley and 14 adults. If there are five tables, how many people will sit at each table? So the important information here that I'm gonna box is 60 people attending, including Riley. So we know that that's going to be 60 total people, not 61 people. The other important information is that there's five tables and I wanna know how much is sitting at each table. So that word each is going to give me a clue that this is a multiplication division problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and eliminate any unnecessary information here. Well, the number 14 adults might throw me off and since they're already included in the 60 people, I don't really need to know that. Next, I'm ready to strategize and solve. I'll start by listing out what the variable is. What I'm trying to actually find out is P, the number of people at each table. You could use X here or N here, any letter that you would like to represent that, but this is what we are trying to find, people at each table. My equation is basically saying that five tables times an unknown amount of people is equal to 60 people. So I'm gonna write that as an algebraic equation here, 5p equals 60. Now I'm ready to solve. I'm going to divide both sides by five and I end up with p equals 12. So now I'm ready to total and restate. My total was p equals 12 and what that means is each table will sit 12 people. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to click to subscribe for this and other lessons. Until next time.